Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2! Not Victoria 3, someday, hopefully. But, right now as you can see, we're in Africa and we're enjoying the heat, the sweat, and the destruction of the natives! Ah, we go right on in, and we're at war with, uh, I guess, Calabar as well as Benin, their ally. Uh, but let's go ahead and siege him down very quickly. Got a couple comments to go through, but, you know, I guess we can talk about them since we're here. Also, I did switch, ooh, Italy, to the Nationalist Party. We were on the Anarcho-Capitalist Party, or the, you know, the Radical Party, Anarcho-Liberals. I want to get rid of that just because, as much as I love full citizenship, trust, I do, but I didn't want atheism for one reason, because that helps, it hurts assimilation, even though we did hurt assimilation by removing full citizenship. Um, just because I've been looking around, and, like, what's Java here? Uh, we can actually convert some of the people. I think it was, East, it was West Java or East Java, something like that, where we can convert people from animalist, uh, you know, religion to Protestant each day, which I think is really awesome. Let's see anything else like down here, animists. Is anyone converting? No. Some some of these people are converting. It depends on where they're at. So, 39 people converting to animists from the Java and farmers, which I think is awesome, awesome, awesome. The faster we can assimilate people's religions, the, hopefully the faster we can assimilate their culture. Maybe. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, and actually, I no Italy. We're kind of okay. And that was actually one of the comments. We should change this diplomatic sphere. Or so, change the view in which we can see the people we're trying to influence. So we're trying to influence Argentina. Now it's going to be Italy. Actually, we can close it, uh, can we close it out, maybe. And then see if we're trying to influence them as well, maybe. I can sort of buy sphere of influence. So we'll see what happens. Very cool. Actually, we can do this as well. Uh, we can just do that one by two. Or we can do this one. So, up, up. But yeah. Very, very nice. Ah, uh, Africa. But we, we definitely need to get more... Um, some more dockyards. Oh, look at that. Synchronized heavy support. Very good. Let's see. So one over, people recommend I take over more spices, make Greater Netherlands, just make us extremely strong, extremely powerful, and we have rebels in... Huh. I don't really care. Cool, but not bad. It is 1860, so we're researching empiricism, and our, my goal is, you know, more population, bigger, bigger, greater, more population. Actually, uh, I've decided to subsidize a little bit more. Holland definitely has a few subsidies here and there, so I'm not going to subsidize that much because we want to have a very competitive economy. So late game will be, do, be doing extremely well, but if they want peace, ah, we love Africa. And actually, since we have a little bit of money, go and do that. Expand ourselves, and we can expand the forces. We killed off a bunch of people, so now the people that are killed off, we're just going to add to our military, and we'll see who we'll take out right next. And here we are, my friends. 1861, March 9th, still researching Imperial System, but we do have the Valley of the Kings. I think we might have looked at this one last time, but if you like to read it, please go right ahead. Uh, we have, actually, 26 prestige, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, can we do it? They grant excavation permits. The government of Egypt has granted us exclusive right to excavate and investigate ancient ruins in the Valley of the Kings. The potential discovery zero proved an enormous opportunity for us to increase our scientific renown in the world. Which is kind of unfortunate, because we're going to go straight to war with them next. But, we do have reforms that we can enact. Now, we can't go acceptable healthcare because we need to have invented gaslights. So, we either can educate people, or we can make child labor more restrictive, or we can have all a right, all allowed rights. They want trinket minimum wage, which would piss off people if we don't pick it. But, uh, you know what? 5% assimilation and accept the cultures can vote, and all rights allowed. Assimilation goes up to 15% more immigra immigration and less militancy for non accepted, which actually, I kind of want that one just because I want less militancy. It's, it's already looking pretty high up here. Um, so that's why we have a couple guys over here kind of stationed, and you guys are. Well, actually, we've got two armies here. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. But I do want to go to war with the Egyptians. So give us one more month. We'll put our guys on a boat. Actually, no. Uh, raise up our stuff because the Egyptians are currently in the Ottoman sphere, and while the Ottomans aren't super difficult, we might call in some boys to help us out here. Alright, so we can go all around Africa first, we'll go through Africa through here. I think I might want to just go up to the Bay of Alexandria first, and have a little expedition here. And they're allied with Harar. Their military, oh, they're okay. They're okay in military. So I might call in um, the British, even though I don't really want to, and they might take a stuff from us, but I'd rather get the Suez. I want the Suez. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll ally you. Alright, let's go and go to war and see what we can do. Um, demand concession. I want... Is it Sinai? Is it Sinai? It is Sinai. Cool. Call in allies. Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, and the UK will accept. Yeah, Sinai. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's head on into CD Barani. Honor, 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 honor. They all better honor. And we're at war with the Ottomans. God dang it. Oh, no, no. It's just Egypt. It's just Egypt. That's good. Just in case, because, as you can see, the UK has expanded into Jordan already, as well as these guys over here, too, so. Don't mind us. Please ignore us. Good, good, good. Matra? Um, okay, well, Carlos Spain's been... We've been kicked out of there. Oh, uh, let's see. 
Yeah, and someone recommends we colonize America some more. We'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So it's just going to take some time. That's all it does. It just, everything takes time. Especially early game. Like, late game, you can actually take a lot of territory. Oh, territory. That's a lot of guys. Not going to lie. That's a lot of dudes. Well, if we can beat up the ship, that'd be great. And get a piercism done, too. Mm, why are they not leaving? There you go. Nice. Research points. Very, very good. It is 1860. Breach loaded guns would be really good to get. I want to get some more organic chemistry. That'd be quite good to get. We can't do anything here yet. Uh, this is 1870 stuff. Uh, we could really use more of that. But I'm going to... Organic chemistry. Cracking. Oil would be so good to get. Throughputs. Dyes. Ooh. I want to go with roads. I really want better roads. Or just rail roads. 60,000. Nice. Alright, no. We... Oh, God. If they get that, does that mean we don't get... Okay, we got that. Okay, woo, we got it. We got it, everyone. What did they piece us out with? We had and leadership, demobilizing, and oh, we got all of it. Nice. That was actually really good. Uh, I don't think they got anything from that. So that was actually probably one of the better times when we actually called in the UK to help us out in a war. All right, everyone. So we're back here in Africa and having a great old time. This is one of our favorite places to be, which is, of course, Africa. And they want to take it over. Well, let's see who's down first. See what happens and get rid of some Africans that way. Cool. Also, off screen, we did get not one, but two more reforms for our nation, including basic school system, but we already went to acceptable school system, which gave us plus 0.5 assimilation rate, plus 3% immigration attraction, and most importantly, plus 7.5% more education efficiency because we want our people to read. We want them to read that we're killing the natives. Well, maybe not so much that, but you know what I mean. Probably. And goodbye. Oh, casually killing roughly 12,000 versus 250. No. Mexico? Did I ally you again? What? Oh. Um, I might respond to that. Also, we're trying to get some railroads. I want a lot of railroads. 2,500 lost versus 16,000? Not bad, my friends. Uh, Mexico? You see, that's why I waited. Mexico, I'm sorry, man. You gotta realize. I might be the sixth greatest power here. We might be the sixth greatest power here in the world, but... America's got a lot of you. Also, the, also off screen, like literally, the Americans had a civil war, but it was literally just Texas and Oklahoma. I wish I showed it to you. It was so tiny, the smallest CSA I've ever seen. I was literally just waiting for the, the war justification to get finished, so that way, I, you know, I know it's, it's safe to come and stuff, but like, it was literally just Oklahoma and Texas. That was it. If you see this, there's no cores on the CSA here, which is insane. The Confederacy had no cores except on Texas and Oklahoma. Oh my goodness, that was just wild. I, I wish I showed you what that, but just. The tiniest CSA we've ever seen, ever. At least I've ever seen. Just Texas and Oklahoma. Ugh. I gotta play the CSA someday, though. There you go. Cool. And let's keep beating up some Africans. Ah, railroads. Very jolly good. So we got the railroads done. Progenitor of furnaces might be really good as well. Factory throughput. Organic chemistry. I want to do that, but let's see. Social science. Hmm. Let's see. We gotta get ready for this one, which is 1870. So, I did want to, I did say I want to make sure we get mayor, naval, mayor, more naval bases. So let's go and at least do one naval tech. And actually, do we have any modifiers for technology? We have Temperance League for now, more prestige. Freedom of religion, which is okay. Uh, well, maybe it's not okay. International pressure. We're exerting diplomatic pressure on a foreign country regarding a very specific issue. Egyptian excavations and a constitutional crisis. Whatever. It's only a constitutional crisis. Let's suppress people. And anything else here different? Sign the Geneva Convention. Why would we do that? Ooh, create Malaysia. Ooh. Protected over Sarawak would be very nice. Has to be after 1888, though. And, we, well, we can wait for a revolution and counter-revolution, or we just take them out ourselves. Mm -hmm. we, oh, I don't want the French to get there, though. That's my big thing, though. I don't want the French to get there. Embrace the Flemish, which we do want, so we need... Oh, we need... Well, we need to get a focus on more prestige. Political rights is not restricted rights. Oh, citizenship policy is not residency. Wait, political rights. Do people have rights? Oh. Okay. Well, we should be okay with that, right? Renovate. Re re the Dutch Niger Company. Cool. Let's not say any bad words here. And let's do that too. Very nice. Actually, you could go and uh, probably blockade some people here. Maybe, maybe not. That doesn't matter. We're doing pretty well, though. We definitely need more prestige. I might do some of the prestige checks, but less than act. If you liked about that, please go right ahead. Auto. Thank you very much. And... Force to repeal. Locals are free to do as they see fit. Nice. This part of Africa is looking very nice. Incredibly nice, I will say that. And railroads, and maybe we'll build up some armies, and then focus 
maybe more on taking some more people out, even though we love the Suez Canal. Or Suez, because there's no canal yet. Now, I know we saw earlier that we can take, like, Vietnam maybe earlier, like Indochina later on, but I think for now, we're just going to go ahead and take them out manually, just because... Actually, who can we do this with? Colombia? Uh, there we go, it's Colombia, good. Um, just because I don't want the French to get here, I really want to take all of Vietnam. I don't know, I've got a thing for Vietnam right now, so... Hot and heavy with Vietnam, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go on in and establish a protectorate and annex them out completely. And actually, I was, I was noticing this thing here. Let's, let's, let's go to the Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, ooh, fighting those guys too. But then we can go to war with those guys eventually. But we're actually sixth place in the world. We're actually fifth in the world for military power. Our military is technically, technically bigger than the Russian army. And we're double the size of the Russian industry and a little bit less prestige than them. Which is kind of insane and actually we're pretty comparable to the navy or the art military of the austro-hungarians we have a double the military size of the united states and we're on pretty close to the germans of course the germans though it's only north german federation but that's actually i think it's kind of cool we're already six in the world so and oh uh oh belgian nope taki senpai no 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 i know you, you convinced in them no taki no 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 not this time when it plays belgium maybe eventually but Belgian nationalists. Oh boy, here come all the rebels. Oh no, 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 no. So the rebel spawn has begun, even though we do have three armies here, so. Oh my gosh, militant socialists, you know, just in case. Maximize that as much as possible if you want. Put down those militant socialists. Oh god, this is the probably my biggest issue with HPM. Or maybe just Vicky 2 on period. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, we might have elected the uh, anarcho-liberals or the liberals in party power part, but the reactionaries are so much better. You can state capitalism, and you can intervene in the economy if you need to. Um, okay, so what do they want? I'll give them what they want this time around. Drink a minimum wage? Fine. If you want a minimum wage, that doesn't seem very anarcho-capitalist to me, but whatever. Uh, Flanders? No, Flanders can f suffer. Let's help out one of these guys. Let's help out the can factory, just because I want to absorb a lot of people into our main core states. I think, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we want to push people out, actually. Maybe we'll actually push people out. Holland. Uh, we, like, we like Holland, right? Holland is right here, right? Yeah. We like Holland. So. That's closed down. That kind of sucks. You can have that. And we can have that too. too. Just so we have some sort of industry here. In Zealand, uh, I like this one too. There you go. Cool. I don't mind for most of the... Like, for most of the, the industry, at this point, of my understanding of uh, Vicky 2, just let it do whatever it does. You know... Get let, get the capitalists in here. Make them much, as much of a profit as they possibly can. As you can see, we just finished Romanticism, which we're about three decades late. But I do want to get more prestige just in case. So I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get more prestige. But let's grab some. And we also grabbed up Battleship Column Doctrine. Guards? Yeah, we're going to need Colonial Negotiations. So let's go with that one. All right, so we put down the Rebels. That's good. If they rise up again, well, we'll just kill them again. And that's how you can just delete populations. Here. Hmm. And actually, let's take a look. Immigrant push? Not too bad. Bergen, hopefully they're leaving. Get out of our country? Can we say that? Yeah, too late. Get out of our country. If you don't want to be here, so be it. Just leave. Seriously, just leave. Go to America. Go to our colonies. That's totally fine with me. Oh, they actually showed up down there, huh? Oh, these guys are way done. Head on over there. Go over there. Thank you. Oh, I didn't send you... I am so stupid. I did not send you in? Oh, man. Oh, the Battle of Hatien? Well, they died. They died very quickly. I did try to throw some engineers on all the guys as well, so. And, yeah, these guys should be done too. There you go. And there you go. Every attack is probably a bad idea. Oh, they actually have cannons. Look at that. Congress Poland. Why do they want... Ooh. Look at that. War of Chinese reunification. Ooh, how strong are these guys? We can always break it. 52... This is kind of an issue. We take out Vietnam, then we have a direct land border with the Chinese, which isn't necessarily a good idea, but... Oh, well. I want more of Southeast Asia. I want to absorb as much of Southeast Asia as possible. South Exchange? Cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Local businesses or businessmen in one of the provinces has formed a joint venture company to establish a local stock exchange primarily aimed at the commodities trade. The venue will undoubtedly increase local productive efforts. Nice. Very cool. All right, your capital's mine, Haiphong. Here we go. We love Haiphong. God, we need more population. Uh, sure, why not? Discrediting us, that's fine. Reach loader rifles will be very good. The locals are free to do as they see fit. I don't want to get involved with the locals. Just let the locals do the thing, and we're killing a lot of Vietnamese people. 
Oh, UK. You want everyone. Actually, we want to keep that because we want Panama with us as well. There you go. Long Son. Ah, very nice. Our ships aren't that good, but, you know, they're okay. Okay, the UK just doesn't like us. They're just trying to contest us for everybody or everything. All the nations. All the minor nations or secondary powers. Ah, how dare you. You filthy Brits. Now help us fight our wars. Uh, let's see. Wallonia Martyr. Well, he's dead. Sorry, Taki. I do apologize, but it's got to be what it's got to be. You're going to wake up in the morning and realize Vietnam no longer exists. It's now called the Netherlands. Oh, we're not going to give us a thing. Oh, I guess I'll have to use this one manually then. Very nice. Ah, Dutch Vietnam. I love it. I hope you love it as well. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, but we're going to manage our army a little bit better and like reorganize a little bit because I do maybe want to go to war with these guys. Even though they are a puppet of the Ratokasin Amp Kingdom. Hmm. Oh, but Luo Prabang. Luo Prabang. I think you mean more Netherlands. Very cool. And now our Asian adventures continue into Luang Prabang. <sighs> it feels good, doesn't it? Oh, hello. 6,000 men in the mountains. How are you doing today? Oh. You're suffering from something. Um, what are they suffering from? They have opium! We'll save them from themselves. Just casually killing 6,000 of them while... Alright, they're dead! That was... Really fast. Okay, then. Thank you very much. Please come again. Awesome. We, uh, we can build some ports here. Actually, I'm conscripting a lot of the Vietnamese that we just killed off in the last like minute or two. And just literally just putting them in our army. So, they died. They lost everything they had. And then we're like, okay... Come on in, guys. You can join the military. Cool, cool times. Awesome times. And I'm, I'm debating whether to go to China or not. We call, we could obviously call them the UK, which would be good. But uh, their score is not too bad. Our, we don't have a ton of soldiers around here, but we might risk it for a good old jolly biscuit. Acquire substate. Oh, if we do that. Oh, that would not be very good. Katana says I might just head on over back to Africa because you know what? We love Africa here. Africa. That's kind of one of our. Great, greatest places to be. Dahomey, you've had it too good for too long. It's time to establish a little bit of a protectorate around those lands there, see? Uh, and, hot props rearranged. Not bad, and we dropped down to 7th in the great, in terms of world powers, but that's alright. Our military is 4th in, in the world the largest. I love taking out other people and using their own soldiers against them and other people. Just, mmm, yummy. Honestly, like, the reason I'm not attacking other nations, like civilized nations such as, you know, Honduras or Brazil, is because they're all being influenced by the great powers, and even though our army looks pretty good, we're all over the world, which really, we won't be able to contest any other one, any other people's armies, like the UK. Like, obviously they're our allies, we can't really contest them too much. Um, Russia, I mean, maybe against the Austro-Hungarians if we could pull all of our guys together, but... That's why I, I always take out, like, all these other nations first. I, I always do it, just because... Well, we need the population. And we're getting a lot more empiricism done for... Uh, prestige, which is nice. That's why I'll get that technology earlier on, so... Alright, let's get the words over. God, you gotta love Africa. Oh, we wanna wait until the, right before the beginning of the month so we can piece them out, hopefully. Come on, and they said yes. So we can still get a lowered infamy rate, which is nice, but we got some process here. Parks process, nice. More production is very nice. And we're doing Raider Group Doctrine because we've just finished up. I think it was Regenerative Furnaces. Nice, it was. You know, even though we're conquering parts of Africa, and I guess Asia, our literacy is doing pretty darn well. 83%. But unfortunately, we haven't had any other reforms lately, so maybe we should piss off some more people and then get some more reforms done, shall we? Well, let's have a protectorate up here in Africa because I would like to get up to here, Niger, just because of the funny name, not really. But uh, just so that we can connect and get more of Africa. I just want more of Africa. Who doesn't want Africa? Maybe we should have a Berlin conference. But you know what really sucks? When you look at the Netherlands, and we're getting, what, 20,000 people, or more 20,000 more people in the last 30 days? Our total population is 51 million. But only the Dutch make up literally 7 to 8% of our entire country, which is insane. Jobs make up 21%. The Vietnamese make up 15%. There's literally double the amount of Vietnamese people compared to the Dutch, which is kind of cool, actually. Oh, I speak of the devil. I say something, and we got this. Okay, so child labor is cool. We still got it. Um, I'd rather educate the kids. You know what? They can go work. They need to make... Kids need to make money in case their, their you know, mom or dad, they can't afford to go to work. So go to school after you're done working in the factories, kids. 
Oh, what do we have? Oh, we have all the education stuff. Cool. And the stuff protector. Very nice. <sighs> Gotta love it. Oh, Zone of Rebels? Empire of Mexico. Eh, whatever. Alright, I guess we'll just keep moving on in. Oh, who are you? Born new? Oh, we just got off 12,000 more Africans. Pluralism goes down for paternalism. Is the attitude of a person or government that subordinates should be controlled in a fatherly way for their own good? Hmm. Kind of interesting. And we do have quite a bit more money. And we did finish up uh, the next level of naval dockyards. So, Raider Group Doctrine looking very good. I guess we won. God, this is so fast. I love the CPU that I bought. Now, it looks pretty bad, but we will go to war with Sokoto soon enough. I should probably go to war with them next. Take him out and just keep on eating, eating, eating lots of Africa. As you guys can tell, this is a pretty African heavily focused part of the campaign. What do we want? Do we want Kano though or Tukari? Kano or Tukari? Let's see. This is not that. This is Kano or Tukari. Well, Tukari's got a lot of fruit and some cattle and some good stuff like that, but uh, Kano. I got some fruit and they pretty much got the exact same things. There's half a million people in Kano. Holy crud. God dang, Africans have a lot of babies, so let's go go to Kano. Alright, let's see what we can do. Busa. We like Busa. Ooh. Tickler Empire, Mossi. Oh, where were these guys too? Oh, that sucks. That's alright. They shouldn't be able to stand up to us too quickly. 15,000 have just died. Well, I guess we're going to kill them all. <laughs> oh, I guess you guys can move in too. Ah, actually, that's really nice. We can do that. We do have... Eight uh, diplomatic points we can use though. Call ally. I think we're okay. Also, off screen, uh, they actually the UK broke their alliance with us, which obviously wasn't good. But that's was actually not too bad because well, America wanted to join us, but wait, they did, they left the alliance again. Holy crap, they're fast. They are really fast. That's all right. As long as we get the UK with us and they might actually help us out in our wars, I'm kind of okay with it. So, gosh dang it. Oh, did we leave this place? What happened? Oh, I guess we just moved around. So that's fine. Wow, look at our consciousness. Look at our militancy. Let's see. Well, that's not too bad. The Temperance League is hurting us, and probably infamy and freedom of religion hurts us, but whatever. It is what it is. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we got some people out there, too. Oh, Mexico. Nah, Mexico, we kind of good right now. Oh, we got more prestige gain. Yay. It is 1867, though, my friends, and we're moving pretty quickly through this campaign, which I'm actually really enjoying that. So I think that's good enough for here. I think we might go with market structure to get more output for everything and get more diplomatic points, because, as you saw, I want to influence a lot of people. We still have the 5th largest military in the world, which is very bueno. Oh my goodness, 14,000 more have died. Um, can we ask you peace out with you yet? No, we're not quite there yet, which is fine. Oh, hello. Uh, poor general. Actually, who are, you, who are we leading? Gabriel Dembert Portugal? <gasps> is he Portuguese? He's got beard and Portugal. Oh, look at that, he's an engineer and good on attack and defense. Nice. Uh, I love the whole Portuguese-Dutch relationship. It's one of my favorite relationships. Son, where are you going? Oh, the liberals won? Gosh dang it. Now we have anti-military. I don't like that. Oh, we can't go in there? Oh, come on. Uh, libs? Not now. We're in the middle of the war, and that's going to piss people off, but I don't really care. We're still sieging him down, which is nice, but that's a lot of guys. Um, Kevy? Nah, just go. Oh, hello. Go there. At least he turned a profit again. That's good. Batavia turns the T. Very nice. Once this one is done, I might just send these guys in and take these guys out. Double team them. Oh, oh yeah. Let's tax the poor people. I love taxing poor people. Uh, it's so nice, isn't it? You, me, and taxing a whole lot of bre uh, bread? No. Poor people. If you wonder about that, please go right ahead. Uh, militancy. Militancy. Send military relief. That's. I don't want to piss, get people too pissed off. We have Africans to colonize. That sounds very... Hmm. You can take a lot of things I say out of context. And that would not be very good for me, but let's uh, get Sweden. Thank you, Sokoto. That's just all we wanted for now. And you will not colonize our African lands, my friends. Even though we're half morale. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. <clears throat> have you lost enough men yet? Obviously. Oh, you have. Now that. Looking not too bad. And finally, actually, since we're at war, I'm going to combine both these armies together. Ooh, you know, they have double horses, that's fine for now. Just go to both the worry, that'd be fine. You guys, I might keep you here. Actually, Gabriel's like actually really cool. So, we have one horse. One, two, three. We need four, five. So, we need... We just killed them all. Well, we'll take your infantry. 
which works out very, very nicely for us. And we're going to continue our African safari here. So, like I said, we're going to go back to Africa, and we are, really, really soon. But actually, the North German, we have the North German Austro-Hungarian Brothers War. Germany wanted to make a force Austro-Hungary to admit hegemony. But then the French got involved, and then I guess the Ottomans have also gotten involved, and the Italians got involved too. They called me in, but I didn't feel like going in, so. Uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely a massive war between the North German Federation and her allies, and with the Ottoman Empire, fighting off Austria-Hungary and France, while Italy is, well, they're trying to do something against Austria-Hungary, so. Let's go to Africa. Let's screw, say, screw, screw Europe. We're going to be like the British and say, screw Europe. And just go have fun in Africa. And use Africans to kill Africans. And some Asians to kill Africans. Great. Oh. Oh, they're mobilizing. Oh, boy. Oh, oh that's pretty good for the Germany, Germans then. And actually, they have military access to my lands, too, so. Um, this is not going to be good for Germany, but it's really not going to be good for Austria-Hungary, probably. Then again, it might not be very good for the Ottomans, because the French landed. And, okay. <clears throat> wow. So... Oh, uh, Argentina, what do you want? Um, I think you got it without us, guys. Oh, look at that. And it's born new. Cool. You know what? How about, I just kind of want to watch this happen. I want to watch and see what happens here. I don't even want to justify anybody. Like, I want to spend time watching this and kind of lower our infamy for now because we have quite a bit of infamy. We're going to make sure we need, got a good amount of infamy for later on. Actually, before we do that, uh, Kufa, there you go. Nice. Um, actually, we're not sure what else. I, I, actually, I might send you guys down here to Europe, maybe, or maybe Africa, Asia. Hmm. I guess we'll see. I guess we still have that group over here too. And go and do that. Let's get rid of one horse here as well. So we have. Well, we're good on infantry, so we need four cannons. Literally four cannons. Unsuka. Unsuka. One. Two. Three. Four cannon boys. Wow. Germany's not looking too bad. I guess the North German Federation. austria hungarys not looking very good. That, neither is the, austria the Ottomans, but whatever. I really want to see how... Well, oh, oh, are they... Oh, they're done! What, what happened? Status... Oh, oh, okay. So they went with status quo. Oh. Okay. So now Germany won't be forming in 1871, which kind of sucks. But if you let them get too... They, they, they wait too long. Germany's going to be, just become really strong. You know, I might just ally with them. Of course, they, the French are allied with the Russians. So let, let's just unemploy. What do we want to do with this one? We'll probably try to get more low subsidies. Well, like I said, we like going to war with Africa in this episode. So, we demand concession of, what was it, Agadir, Marrakesh? Casablanca would be kind of nice, but that would look really bad. Fez, Casablanca, that'd be kind of nice to get this, though. Agadir is kind of pretty deserty, pretty darn deserty down here. Uh, let's look at the by region. What do we have down here? Let's see, all the way up to hereish. Mountains, fruits, and slaves. Hmm. Hmm. Al Rif might not be bad. Agadir though, uh, that does get us technically pretty close up here. So I guess we could take Agadir. It's not worth much, but. It'll look really bad, and that's what that's what makes sense. That's what we really want. Things do not look great. And let's take the land before people really don't like us here. So, And my goal, I guess now, at this point, is to get it so that the Dutch are literally 1% of the entire population. Alright. And we're doing quite well, I'd say. I'm also researching phenomenalism, just because we need that for one of those, you know, attacks, you know, or events and such, so... And it, happy 1870, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Hello. Would you like to die? Nice. We got it done. And now we can do revolution and counter-revolution and social science. I really want to do this one, but I want to get more research points first. I think I want to get research points in revolution and counter-revolution. Last since the act. The locals can do whatever they want. That's fine. Don't, don't bother me with that. Hello. What coming on in. 88% of our population can read, which is pretty darn nice. And you have yourself surrounded. And they died. I love Morocco. They don't love us, though, for some reason. I don't understand. You want me to come to Safi? Okay. Well, we joined them in Safi. We got a lot of money, a lot of pounds. Oh, look at this. Oh, those are messages. And we just casually cut off 20,000 of them in exchange for 2,000. Oh, hello. Ah. Now that is some nice Netherlands magic. 
Um, Agadir. This one, Agadir technically has a bigger naval port, so we'll do that one for a bit more space. So, that looks pretty good, even though, maybe we should stop doing that. Hmm, yeah. Maybe we should stop taking over places like that. So that maybe we can get some more types where we can build more dockyards, maybe? Also, the war did end, as you see, but let's see. Bavaria's in their sphere. Oh, we have Poland. Oh, yeah. We do have Sweden and Norway. Yeah, we need to take other people. Except Italy is kind of our ally. The Ottomans might not be bad to take out, actually. Hmm. Or Egypt. Actually. Egypt. They are civilized now. So maybe taking their lands would not be a bad thing. Egypt round two? Yeah, that'd probably work out very well. Well, I think this will be the last part of this episode because I spent quite a quite a long time on it. But I think it's time for us to have good old time with good old Egypt. Actually, before we do that, let's double check the spheres. Is anyone getting close to Egypt? You know what? We might just call in the British just for fun. And even though I'd lo oh hello France is oh France, what are you doing? Oh, uh, they're going to war with Morocco. I think if I remember correctly, they are at war with Algeria, not Morocco. Okay, cool. Oh. They've got some reactionaries, but I think, well, I, as much as I want to take Cairo, we can take it, so to make borders at least look, you know, somewhat unified, we're actually going to take Middle Egypt, because actually there's quite a bit of population, and uh, they got some cotton there, right? That's cotton? We love cotton. Acquire state, Middle Egypt, which is going to make borders look really bad, and Colombia will not accept. Cool. Alright, let's see if we can go right on in. Uh oh, oh, that's a lot of guys. Twenty-seven thousand. Hmm. Colombia. Oh, you're not a faction anymore. Oh, well, that sucks. <clears throat> oh well. Wow. That's a lot of dead Egyptians. That's a lot. Pretty quickly. That's nice. Also, I did raise up the budget a little more. Also, oh, uh, I don't remember, but we did have to restrict child labor. It's not illegal. It's just restricted for now. So it's unfortunate. I know, my friends, but. <sighs> No more child labor. Or at least legal. Or at least it's still not illegal. So it could be worse. Actually, do they get a bonus when my ships are in the harbor? It looks like they do not. We have a really good dice roll. These generals are pretty good on attack and defense. Hendrik Evertz? We have... Actually, they have a good amount of... Uh, of that. They just lost all of their infantry in one day, almost. Holy crap. Oh. Um, okay. Well, yeah, what it is, what it is. I hope the British don't take too much from us, but... Yeah, you never know. And they're dropping like flies. Nice. Flies go drop. Boom, 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 boom. God, you gotta fear the Dutch army, man. Oh, Cairo. Hello, Cairo. Goodbye, Cairo. Okay, see you on Cairo. Oh, they spawned more divisions. Goodbye. Oh, the Swedes have arrived. Hello, Sweden. Ah, uh, suffragette. Oh, God. Women want rights? Voting rights? Yep. Conservative agenda? Or reactionary? Ah, let's go reactionary. Why not? Conservatives, what do they conserve? Reactionaries, what do they actually react to? Memes? Probably. Sure, Algeria, you can come on through if you like. Oh, man, just hunting down Egyptians. Siemens Martin process, very cool. More steel production. Oh, oh Colombia went to France. Come on, man. Come on, Colombia. I thought we were buddies, but at least 90% of our population can read. Oh, the Italians are down here, too. You know, I really want to see Germany form. I really want them to see you nice and beautifully and strong. So I might actually intervene in the next time the war happens between these two. One, two, three, because they're actually really strong. But it might not last. We'll see what happens. Even though Russia is third place, so it's kind of unfair that Germany has to tag team them, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is, my friends. And we got a lot of uh, dipple points. Germany, would you like anything here? You know, you should have broken our alliance. And uh, apparently Imperial Japan is here too, so. Oh, we won! Nice! Very nice. And, uh, do we get anything here? Oh, Annex Algeria. Cool. Alright, the British didn't get anything, and this is looking pretty gosh darn awful. But that's okay, since we won. But, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but, you know, I ran out of time today. But, it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. We're map painting the world a nice little orange, especially Africa. But tomorrow, we'll see what else we can do. And maybe go beyond analytic philosophy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.